going out there Marty Schwartz here with guitarjams.com website with a ton of cool lessons on there that are not on YouTube you can try it for free for three days just click down there and check it out I've got um, a lesson based on some requests that I'm getting um, you know a lot of a lot of people want to get their soloing better and get new concepts uh, and new ideas the one I've got um, a lot of more kind of jazzy funky players use it quite a bit um, it's basically substituting one note from the blues scale, uh, what would be called substituting the seventh tone, the minor seventh, for a half step down to the major six. And you replace it. And I've also seen it called the voodoo blues scale as well. So that's another thing, if you've heard of that, you can go you know, look into that a bit. I'm just gonna show you a cool little, you know, replacing one note, gives it a really cool sound and I'll show you some cool tricks with it too so come on let's zoom in and check it out first let's play um, the the A blues scale or it's the A minor pentatonic with the blues note added to it and it looks like this a lot of beginner students forget that pinky note right there when they're playing the blues scale just a device you can use especially in like a bluesy kind of vibe obviously it's the blues scale but what I mean is um, there's gonna be certain very minor sounding progressions where this this won't work and that would be kind of a modal uh, mode the modes modal reason so let's not worry that uh, let's not worry about that right now so we've got it starts the same way but instead of five seven which you can still do we're gonna do four seven index and pinky or index and ring so that way it's kind of still like the scale then the G string is going to be the same as the blue scale but then now on the B string we're gonna go instead of we're doing that instead and this note right here is the same note as the one we changed right here so we only changed one note <clears throat> and this note also comes from the Dorian mode, the Dorian minor scale, which looks like this. Oh, there's that note, and the note from the blues scale. Same thing on the G. But we're thinking of it as the blues scale with a little piece of the Dorian in there. thing about this scale and the note that we changed both of the it's the same note it's the major third it's the strongest note of the four chord of a so if we're in a blues the four chord the second chord of the blues is d7 or d9 or d13 all different shapes but it's a d dominant chord and you can see right there or the shape of it that's the note we're, we've replaced so this scale actually works great over the four chord but it, it's super tasty over the one chord because it's just a different sound for our ear to be attracted to it's a little more it's not used as much and it's a little more unusual so let me just show you a couple little things I like to do I like to go you know hammer this on from the five to the seven on the B And then also, I do it a lot, I bend 
that six up to the seven, just a half step bend. And then I went to the regular blues scale. So you can, you can mix and match them. It doesn't have to just be like, okay, now I'm going to just go through that new scale that I learned. It's an idea that you can throw in there. So if I play this little groove, I can just go right back to the blue scale anytime I want. So if I stop that, stop that. Um, it's just some other cool things that kind of come from that. One is you can bar the top three strings here, strum all, all three strings, and hammer on that six right there. And that's, you know. And then drag your pick back over here. You just do these two. like that a lot. Also just practicing the blues scale but with the six in there instead of the seven like. Um. If you know your other positions of the pentatonic and the blues scale, you can kind of find that like the most second most common position would be the A root. So instead of the long one here from 12 to the 15, it's just 12 to 14. And then you'd have the, uh, you know, 11th to the 14. And when I use this, I'm always kind of mixing and matching. I'm going in to um, the regular blue scale as well. The other thing about that instead of this, it's a little sweeter sounding. And it also, this comes from the major pentatonic. So it's also a good way uh, to transition between your major and minor pentatonics. So another, you know, and I've got a lot of info here, but another, thing that you can just try with the scale is if you're playing the blues, let's say it's like a swing, happier swing kind of blues, you know, or even just longer on the one chord. So when you're on that one chord, you could, you know, just as an experiment or something to practice, you can do just the major, A major pentatonic over that. to the four, instead of playing the minor pentatonic, you can play that voodoo thing instead. And, you know, this licks real common in there. Which also, not only is it that blue voodoo scale, but it's also outlining a D7 chord. And so that would just be with one pick, and then with one pick here. I'm emphasizing my right hand there so you can see what I'm doing.
and incorporating that note if you're a little more advanced player, just seeing where that note, that sixth note changes instead of the seven in the other positions of the pentatonic, like up here. <laughs> point of the lesson really is to just don't overlook that six. It's it's a really sophisticated sound that you can add. All right, that's it. Hopefully there were some cool ideas in there for you. Uh, you can always join my email list and get a bunch of cool free lessons that aren't on YouTube. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just uh, wait around and hopefully I'll uh, find you somewhere again.